Okay, so here I say next time, basically when I'm at your work, let me talk to you. So he just was being really nasty to me at his work. I had seen his aunt Linda at the laundromat, told him about his grandmother who fell. He hadn't seen his family in ages. This is December because his mother wanted nothing to do with him. She treated him like trash because he was behind on his bills, which are none of her business, right? She can't keep her money, her hands off our money. Um, okay. Let me see. Okay, so he had gotten his bikes, his motorcycles. Um, told me he had an hour. Okay, so he says, here, I, I was tired of him just saying sorry all the time. And I needed a change. And I do still love him, but his behavior, my goodness. I said, can we be friends again? Gee, I don't know. I guess we've only been friends since we were 12 or 13 years old. We actually went to school since second grade. So, and I tried. I tried to help him and say, you know, I don't know why you're so angry all the time. So he got his bikes. And then he's not talking again. So I am the one who is always trying to talk and hold the relationship together. Um... Okay, so this is me letting him in. This was in December. <clears throat> There's a key under the front, front steps. Um, he could shower. He could shave. He told me that I left him in his truck without ever basically um, letting him in. Yep. So, sometimes a wife is trying to straighten her husband out after he's been rotten to her. Here he hasn't had a proper shower in two weeks. And then here he says, "I, as far as being angry and stressed, maybe he should take up smoking more. I offered counsel. I told him I believe in him. No, nope, he didn't want counsel. And then, you know, he would take another shower. So we were trying to work it out. 